boom. Told y'all I was coming through. Told y'all the Sooners had some work. Told y'all the Sooners had a shift in their strategy. And they got one of the guys they needed to add to this team. Seventh year senior. Weird saying he's been here seven years. But Jermaine Loli is going to be a Oklahoma Sooner as he just committed just now on uh, social media. So, hey, Oklahoma's up, baby. We got to talk about what he brings to the table. We're definitely going to watch some films, so make sure you stick around. And I'm going to talk to you all about the last dude that Oklahoma's after, so you have an understanding of where we're going with that. Before we do that, welcome to Unfair Sports. I'm your host, Jay. Thank y'all for pulling up to the channel. Told y'all this guy, Ty Bates, knows how to not only recruit, recruits, but he also get transfer guys, right? He he has been wooing these players over the last couple weeks, and then when Jermaine Lalid stopped by, and he talked about how much he loved it at Oklahoma. Colin Kennedy's got a nice article up over on 247, Soon as Illustrated. Our guy, check him out. They always put out some fantastic stuff. And Loli comes, brings us something that we desperately need, right? The one thing that Oklahoma desperately needed to have is additional snaps at defensive tackle. Remember, we lost Jordan Kelly, Isaiah Cole, Jacob Lacing, Jonah Laulu. That's four big-time defensive linemen. Oklahoma lost because of, you know, graduation going pro as well as Jacob Lacey forced to retire. And so bringing a vet last year, he played in 12 games for the Cardinals, starting in about nine, having over 400 snaps. That's more than all of the players we had on the defensive line combined last year. Right. He put those up. And the good thing with him is he's at six, three, about 315, 10, 315 pounds adds that much needed beef in the trenches so you get Branson Hickman on the center spot offensive line one of the top offensive linemen in the portal if not the best center in the portal now you add Jermaine to be able to round that out and so for Oklahoma that gives you him in the middle with Dejon Terry gives you two big guys you can rotate around prevents you from having to play all your young guys more than you know 400 snaps in a season which is a lot but it still gives the opportunity for the young guys to get some PT and be prepared. And so watching a man's film, man, he'd be out there getting it. And that's the thing that Oklahoma is in need of is just another big body to push around everybody else in the SEC. And so I think what also helped sell this young man to Oklahoma is the fact that coming here, you're going to have Jerry Schmidt. It's going to put him on a nice plan. One that's going to be built specifically for what he needs to do. And, I mean, he's done this with a lot of SEC guys, right? He was at Oklahoma. He went to A&M for a few years, got some of those dudes, and now back here and we're going to SEC. So we know that he's going to be able to do some things to help build this. And I am excited that we're bolstering this defensive line. We understand what the needs are and we're going after it. And this is the best part. I told y'all, seventh year, right? Early years at Arizona State, he saw injury problems, right? He was a little injury prone, had some issues there. But the beauty of it for him is, is that last year he was able to play all 12, play those 12 games. 12 of the 14 means he's back to the health you need. We don't need him to be super healthy. We need to be healthy enough, right? We need him enough to rotate around with Dejon Terry and give us additional insurance if anything happens to either one of the two, right? Takes away some of those crazy snaps, but gets them out there to be able to play what we need. And so from there, we are waiting to find out about the next guy that we're in hot pursuit for, which is Dominic Williams, right? The TCU defensive lineman. We all know he came over the weekend. He was here for like three days and he decided he's still coming in. He basically said he wanted to take all his visits because his recruitment was not that big as a high school recruit. Understood. And he's going to take those visits, see what's out there in the world. But the big thing is, is Oklahoma is really selling them on it. Lale was a very big part of his recruitment. They both came in and hit it off well based upon what all the reports are. So the good thing is, is that Lale is going to be here focused on trying to prep for the NFL, which means that as long as he's out there being disruptive, NFL is going to be calling. So got to watch a little bit of them. Hop in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. How y'all feeling about it? What y'all think the Oklahoma did what they need to do? Told y'all it was going to happen. If you made it this far, like the content, please hit that like button if you're new to the channel. Subscribe. Love you to join us, family, college football fans, talking OU football, college football in general, and SEC football. Having a blast doing it. So, we'll have some more videos out coming up in the next couple days. Please go ahead and tune in, and uh, yeah, chop it up soon. Peace.